direct listing of the day is going to be Roblox uh, RBLX. In, uh, the reference price was 45, but you can see the indication 67 to 72. Pretty big deal for the NYSE. Josh Lipton's joining us this morning with an explainer of what it is, if you don't already know. Hey, Josh. <laughs> So, Carl, Roblox might be a foreign word to some investors, but it is very well known to parents. The online gaming company has a lot of young fans. In 2020, daily active users grew 85 percent to nearly 33 million and more than 50 percent under the age of 13. And it's an interesting business model, too. Millions of experiences are available on this platform. So meaning everything from games to concerts and users make the gains with tools provided by the company. And then they share in the revenue a 70-30 split with the company. Roblox makes most of its money by selling a digital currency called Robux, which can be used to buy virtual goods. Roblox enjoyed dramatic growth during the pandemic. Revenue in 2020 surging 82 percent to 924 million. And hours spent on the platform rose 124 percent to 30.6 billion. Yes, that's with a B. Michael Pachter of Wedbush outlines key questions for investors on this one. One, he asks, what does growth look like for Roblox post-pandemic when kids go back to school? The company did warn that growth of daily active users could slow in the spring, while hours engaged could decline as much as 11 percent. Company CEO told CNBC, though, that he's confident. Roblox has been growing for 15 years, driven by our community, driven by the, the awesome content, driven by our creators, and driven by the ability for people to do things together. That's a long-term growth path, and we believe that continues forward even after COVID. One other question Michael Pachter raises, can this company extend its, its reach and gain traction with older demographics? It is certainly trying. Back in November, the rapper Lil Nas X held a virtual performance in Roblox that attracted more than 30 million visits. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.